So is the darbuka or tabla an African instrument? And I've been having a lot of comments saying it's Moroccan or Libyan or Algerian or Tunisian. Uh, and all these are African countries. But the other comments saying is from Lebanon, Jordan, Turkey, or even Greece. So the most research says it's been played in ancient Egypt. I think it's just more accurately a Arabic instrument. So I've been learning to play Play something that actually sounds Egyptian using the dom and the tech that we learned in the previous tabla episode. And the whole thing sounds something like this. So let's slow it down and simplify it. So the basic rhythmic pattern is something like this. And that's a little bit boring. So let's make it more interesting by adding a little bit of texture. And the way we're going to do that is by adding ghost notes, which are that time when you lightly touch the djembe in between the hits. So instead of versus The second way we're going to add texture is the more complicated and more interesting one. And it's almost like a roll where the left hand or the non-dominant hand plays two notes just before the dominant hand hits. So something like this. I just prefer using those fingers. It works better for me. You can use whichever fingers you like. So something like this. And on the next Tabla episode, we're going to expand on this rhythm and put some extra tricks as I discover them. Uh, something like this. Uh, they usually do something like this. <laughs> 